maybe a little bit like a Will McClear, uh, um, and he's, he's, he's filling that role of Will McClear as that defensive anchor, that leader up top. As they get a, There's another turnover another forced turnover. by Granberry. You know who Granberry reminds me a lot of? Talked about him a couple weeks ago. Cameron Sutton. Mm -hmm. Just he's not he's not the tallest. The Dragons are notorious for not having the tallest guards. Mm -hmm. Their tallest player is a six-seven Jeff Bukowski Alden Rick. But just being able to have that playmaking ability, like a Cam Sutton, like we've talked about him a lot tonight, a Will McClear, who, by the way, is going to Ohio State. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Dragon's ball baseline. It's like a jump ball was called there. Up top to Granberry, nice pass over tomorrow. Cross court to Ritt. Ritt's going to take the three. Air ball, rare air ball by Ritt. And Witt tried to save it and bounce. Nice save that, attempt by Witt. That's right, the Teeling. It. Oh, nice move by Thurston hits the theater. Sweet turn away, or, or fall away jump shot there for the Crusaders and Cassie. Granberry trying to show off his playmaking, finds Ritt. Ritt's going to drive and fit up the floater, and Ritt's missed back to back shot. Unlucky bounce off the rim there. Cassie, his turn to try and show off his handles. Passes it over the shore. Brought it by Red, has that one knocked away, and then another steal by the Dragons. Here we go, Granberry. Picks it up, not that fancy, had a little roll of hands, but an easy layup for Granberry. A nice steal, bucket in transition by Granberry. That's what he's been doing a lot here this third quarter. The vision there by Red to be able to find that up ahead pass to Granberry. Dragons firing on all cylinders here at Teeling for the Crusaders. Has that one knocked away, but that's going to be a foul. Dragon's trying to go for another poke leading to the foul. Poked his arm instead of the ball there. It's Granberry's Granberry, second foul of the night. But here's something good to say. That's the Dragon's first foul of the half. Mm -hmm. They've really been able to clean it up out of the halftime break. And giving him the, those bonus free throws off the non-shooting fouls could have led to something even more tragic at the end of the game. And I feel like stopping this, uh, playing, cleaning it up on the fouls is really going to help them at the end of the game, not getting them all in this corner. Foul's going to be on Perkowski. That's Perkowski's first foul. I know that's something we talked a lot about with Perkowski last year, and his foul issue is there's going to be the three, and it's made by that was Kessler. But going back to my point, just a foul score for Kowski. It's a really promising sign seeing him where three quarters of the way through the third quarter as there's a three by Granberry as he swishes it. That kind of Granberry is catching fire here in this third quarter. But for Kowski, only having one foul, that's a really promising sign for the Dragons. And that foul trouble down low was another big thing last season that they tried to clean up, and it looks like this game happened. Oh, nice, nice steal by Granberry there. Granberry doing it all. Granberry trying to show off the handles once again, has it knocked away. Up top to Morrow. Morrow down to Kowski. Nice feed inside. Wow. And the slam by Kowski. That one got Dragons faithful on their feet. Man, it feels great to be able to say that. It feels great to it feels great to have basketball back, people watching. It's not a soda crowd like we're used to here, but it's great to have people back in the field house. It feels like it. It feels like it. The noise. The noise. Generate a lot of noise here now. Great. That's another three. Great. Good three. Bang! Bang! Hold it, Rick. Oh, the Ritz having some fun right now. That smile on Ritz's face. It says it all. He's having fun here tonight, folks. 20 point. Uh, advantage now for the Dragons. Dragons trying to pull away. Teeling trying to take the ball in his hands. He can't hit on the three rebounded by Perkowski. There's Rick. What's Rick going to pull out of the bag of tricks? Triple team, no shot, falls on the floor.